Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, trying to get some uh, Willie's uh, heads milled today. Uh, first one I have up here is for Steve's uh, MB slash GPW engine. Uh, it's a mixture of parts here. It's a very early Willie's block with a GPW head. Now I just want to take and show you guys the importance of uh, decking your block and your head. Now I set this one up as best I could. I measured like eight different points all around the, the, the cylinder head here. I got it as close as I can, took the average everything, set it up uh, just as close as I could and we're hitting here. We got a little bit here. We're just skimming here down into here and now we're taking off over here and all the way across there. Uh, there's a lot of guys that just take the cylinder heads and they stick them back on and, and they wonder why they're blowing head gaskets and this and that. Um, take the time, make sure you um, get this surface nice and flat, get your block nice and flat, and you'll never have any gasket problems. Now it looks like we're probably going to have to take a bit off of this one. Uh, so Steve, you'll have a little bit higher compression head here, and that's a good thing. But, um, I'm just going to take maybe two thousandths off per pass, uh, and we're on the mill here. We're on the Cincinnati. You guys know if you follow the channel, I am getting a block master in, and that will make it easier to do blocks and stuff. I may still do the heads on here. I don't know. We'll see how easy they are to set up on a block master, but um, I could do the V6s easier. I could do that. Like I say, I got that 327 that's coming apart right now. Um, and there's no hurry on that one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show too much of that one. The, the customer doesn't want me to show too much of that. I'm, I'm not sure why, but uh, uh, kind of a private guy. He just uh, I'm only sending videos to him on the 327, and um, but I'll show other engines. And this is, like I say, this is Steve's. I have Tom's cylinder head ready to go, and I am cleaning marks. Um, right now it's um, it's getting a solvent bath there's a lot of junk and there's a lot of mud wasps and and bugs and bees and stuff inside his cylinder head so we got to clean that before we mill it but um, I had to sandblast this one because it was a disaster now we're milling it and uh, like I say I'm gonna, I'm gonna go just a little bit at a time and show you it's way off right now and I'll show you how we get it perfectly flat and let you know exactly how much I take off Okay guys, there's the first two thousands cut. We came all the way across, just a little bit in. Came through the midsection, got halfway across the head. Just started picking up the full cylinder head right here, and then from here out, this is all milled. This milled, and this is milled here. So we got a hollow in here, and that's very common on these heads to get like that. Um, this is why you know every engine I do I, I, I deck them um, this will blow gaskets out if you were to put this head down tor even though you torque it down it's got 15 bolts it's got a tremendous amount of bolts in there uh, it's not flat enough and it will blow gaskets on you so we're gonna take another 2000s cut and see where that gets us and hopefully that'll get us all the way across uh, so right now we have that skim cut which was maybe I don't know half a thou uh, and then we did our first full cut of two. So we're like two and a half thousandths off this head right now. And we'll see where another two gets us.
Okay guys, that's five thousandths off the whole entire cylinder head here. We cleaned up the whole entire thing. Um, you see me balance a nickel on there again. Uh, there's guys that tell me they try and, and spin a big face mill like that on their bridge ports and stuff to do this. Um, a bridge port just doesn't have enough horsepower to spin something like that. Um, so you're not going to get a good setup and you're going to be underpowered. Um, you need a rigid setup. You saw the nickel stand and I knocked it down so you know it's not glued there or anything. Uh, you need a good setup. If you can't balance a nickel on there when you're doing your machine work, you're never going to get a good finish. Uh, if you're doing a, a setup like this in your bridge port, um, let's get down here. You can make it work with a single fly cutter. Um, just a, a single point tool. Uh, there's a holder for it. Uh, and they work real good. They don't take a lot of horsepower. You gotta take real light cuts. Um, but you can go a thousands at a time uh, and get good results. Uh, you just can't spin a big face mill. So, um, like I say, for you guys that are, that are trying to do it on your bridge port, um, you're probably not gonna get good results if you use a face mill. Um, that's an 8 inch unit uh, and I have plenty of horsepower in the Cincinnati to do that and you get a super nice finish here um, so again if you're going to use a bridge port or a smaller underpowered machine um, single point tool in a, in a fly cutter uh, is where you want to be but um, this is cylinder head number one uh, let's get Tom set up next and uh, see how his comes out be right back with you Okay, let's take a look at Tom's cylinder head. And when I set this up, I set this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. I had a perfect um, depth. Let me show you what I use here. Okay. I set it up with a depth gauge. Okay, so I had every corner perfect. And just take a look at how we milled that. Nothing in the corners. We started to take a, a pretty good cut here. Made it almost all the way across here. Took a little tickle right here and a tiny little tickle right there, but you can still see the rust on each corner. So um, I could show this a hundred times on how important it is to do it, but Guys still call me up and wonder why their head gaskets are blowing out and why they're losing compression and, and a bunch of things. Um, you could see right here just, you know, what a disaster the head is as far as flatness. So we're just going to do what we did on Steve's. We'll do the same thing on Tom's and then we'll get another one up here. I think I got four or five to do today and uh, we'll just keep uh, making these flat. And uh, when I send them out, I don't have any worries about... Um, head gaskets or anything like that and uh, these are the steps you have to take to get a good running engine so let's take a 2000s cut and see where that gets us okay guys here's 2000s now oh, we're getting a weird cut on this it's low right in here low in this area here um, I'm thinking this head may have been off the engine for quite some time and just started walking around and twisting. Uh, but I got to get it flat. That's the main thing. Um, I just changed. I just rotated the cutters. Uh, this is a square cutter, so you get eight sides. Four on one side, and you flip it, you get the other side. So I just changed cutters. We're going to go for another two. Hopefully, we're going to start cleaning this up. Uh, like I say, this is a weird... Uh, way of, of getting a cylinder head cut. They usually don't cut like this, but we'll, we'll see what happens on the next cut Okay guys, there's Tom's cylinder head 
I think you can see how nice a finish there's on there. That took uh, just about six and a half thousandths to get his, his cylinder head perfectly flat. Uh, this area right here, for some reason, uh, didn't cut until the last little bit. But it's perfectly flat and won't be any trouble with that at all. So we got Steve done, we got Tom done. Uh, let's go see what else we got. Okay guys, I got Mark's cylinder head next and like just about everything else on this project that he sent to me, uh, it's kind of a disaster. Uh, I'm having a hard time getting this one set up. I got shims everywhere. I got it as flat as I possibly can get it. We're going to take a pass on that and see what happens. Uh, we'll get it flat, but I don't know how much we'll have to take off this one. So let's just dig into it. Okay guys, we are three thousandths into Mark's cylinder head. Cleaning up very nice right here. And very nice right down the end here. Large hollow in the center. We're just starting to just scrape on that side. And a little bit right in there. So, uh, we'll take another two. See where we get. Okay guys, get the three heads finished here, there's Tom, got Steve's in the center, got Mark's on the end, uh, Mark took about nine thousandths to get him cleaned up, but I'm very happy the way that came out, uh, that'll be a very good cylinder head for him. Uh, Steve and Tom took a little bit less, uh, and the finish came out just as nice on these, so We'll get these kind of wrapped up, bagged up so that they don't get any uh, flash rust on them. And we'll get the um, engine blocks on the mill next and get those machined and then we can start assembly on everything. Um, the MB engine is already sleeved, bored, pistons fit. Uh, so that one's a little bit further along. Um, Mark and Tom will get the blocks decked and then we will begin the boring process. So, that's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. We will catch you on the next one.